Well, we've had a great day shooting out here at STA Training Group's facility out here in Cowtown, Arizona. And after a good day of shooting, it's time to clean the guns. I'm going to walk you through some of the tips and tricks I've learned and I use that make cleaning a rifle easier and better. Hi, I'm Ryan Kleckner with the National Shooting Sports Foundation. I hope you follow along and put some of these tips into practice yourself. First, because the way I have my rifle set up, I need to remove my cheek piece to get the bolt out. With the bolt out, I'm going to focus on the receiver and the barrel first. Now, there's a lot of cleaning solvents on the market out there. My personal choice is shooter's choice. It's worked great for me, and I actually leave a wet patch in the barrel when I'm done. We'll talk about that when we get there, but I really think it's safe on my barrel. Here's what I use for my solvent. Now, I have a trick I hope you're going to like. There's always a problem when you have solvents. You take your patches and you get the solvent all over your fingers and you try and get it in the gun and it's dripping all over the place and it makes a mess. So what I do is this is a small green chilies jar, but small baby food jars work anything about this size. This glass jar holds my patches in there. So what I do is I put patches in ahead of time, I pour some solvent on them, close the lid, ready for me next time. Whenever I need a patch, I can just sit here as I'm cleaning and reach in and pull out a patch, it's already wet and ready to go, and I can just keep going. And you'll see what I do with my brush to refill it. So first, I'm going to run my brush down the barrel to break up a lot of the crud. I keep my brushes segregated for my bolt gun because I use copper solvent. And with a copper solvent, it can be corrosive to the brushes. So by keeping them separate, I know which one's going to be used for my solvent and which one's not. I'm screwing this onto a nice one-piece cleaning rod. These are worth it. The small cleaning rods putting together tend to be a hassle. They have a nice ball bearings in the handle. They make everything a lot easier. Not so much to protect the chamber, but just to keep the junk out of my action. I take this chamber guide, put it in the chamber here. What it does is it helps keep a lot of the solvents and all that gunk I'm cleaning out from coming back into my action. Now, to get the, br the brush wet, instead of dipping the brush into the solvent, all I do is I take the solvent and I pour it over the brush so the rest goes into my little patch container and that's how I keep it refilled. It's a nice system. Now, you do not need to be afraid of using a brush on a barrel. I hear people swear all the time, it can only go the direction of the bullet, and I'm telling you, this little brass brush is not doing near the force and damage to your barrel as a bullet flying down there at 2,600 feet a second. So don't be afraid to push it through one end and pull it back. I've never seen a firearm hurt by doing this, and I do it to every single gun I own. Get it through there, break up a lot of that crud, and you can see that mist shooting out the end. There's plenty of solvent still on that brush. That's good enough. Take that brush off, and in between, this rod's gonna get really dirty. I keep an old t-shirt in here just to kind of wipe it off every time. Now, when you're pushing patches through, I see a lot of guys use these little eyelets. Hard to dig out because I hardly use it. These, they're not worth it. Don't use them. I also don't like these. This one's obviously for a bigger caliber, but these jags, they don't make cleaning as easy as if you use one of these Parker Hale style jags. They're only a few dollars, and you're going to see how much better they work for your bolt guns. If you notice, this jag has a round tip on the end. You don't push the patch on at an end so it doesn't bunch all up and only clean part of the patch, because when you push it through on one of these normal jags, you notice when it's done you have that star-shaped dirt pattern on there, because that half the patch wasn't even exposed to the barrel. And the other problem is, I bet we've all been there, you use one of these or one of the eyelets, and at least once you get that patch so tight you're trying to bang the cleaning, cleaning rod through the barrel because it's stuck. You don't have that problem with these. So what I'm going to do is you take a patch and you just wrap it on this jag from the side. So I take it and take a finger and wrap it on. When it's wet it'll stick on on its own and it's easy to use. Take it, push right through the barrel. Look how easy this is to push through. There's no resistance at all and if you can see that Look how much contact it had. All the way around the barrel, it made contact and took all that gunk out. It makes it much easier to push through, and it does a much better job cleaning than other style jags. I'll put another wet one through just for good measure. Now, there's no exact formula that you have to use for a number of wet patches or dry patches. The idea is you want to get the solvent in there, give it a chance to break down all that carbon and all that gunk, and use the brush to break it up. Once you're done with that, you clean it out. Here's another patch through. Now I want you to see something here. Can you see that color difference? You see I'm getting a little bit of a turquoise there? 
that's really good. Shooter's Choice has a little bit of a copper remover in it also, and that's some of the copper coming out. That green means we're getting down into the, the actual pores of the metal there. That's great. Put this cap on here. There's another trick. When you're done with the solvent, put the cap on. I've knocked it over enough times. Now that we have enough wet solvent in there, we're going to do a few dry patches. If you have problems with your jag where it's not tight enough, you can roll the patches on diagonally, and I'll show you what that looks like next. Again, look at the contact that made coming around, all the way around, and we got some more of that green copper coming out, that we're doing good. What I meant with the patch diagonally is if it doesn't fit, you can start right here on the corner, and instead of wrapping it around straight side to side, you wrap it at the corner, and it ends up like that. It makes it a little thicker in the middle for you, if for some reason the brand patches you made, and it fits a little bit tighter all the way through. Look how clean our barrel is coming already. You see that? Only a few patches later, we're getting it that clean. We've been shooting hundreds of rounds through this rifle, and with one of those eyelet patches or any other system, it takes a lot more patches than that. Well, just because the patch is clean doesn't mean we're done. I feel like that just takes the surface off, but I get back in there with the brush. As soon as I get it like that, I want to break some more crud up and get deeper in there. A little more solvent. And then back through it again. If you see what I'm doing here, I'm tilting my rifle down. That's allowing a lot of this excess solvent to drip out the edge of the barrel. It's not crucial, but I like the solvent to end up over there off the table, rather than dripping back down into the chamber and back into my action. Again, my cleaning rod's nice and dirty. Clean it off. We'll get back in there with the jag. I'm going to try a dry one and see what we can mop out of there, see if we broke any more of the black crud loose. Sure enough, we broke some more stuff loose. That's good. Okay, it's coming out nice and dry here. So I'm going to do one or two more wet patches and we're going to call the barrel good. I don't, want, don't know what methods you used before, but I've seen a lot of people clean their rifles and it usually takes a lot longer than this, especially if you have big fingers and you try and get those patches through those little eyelets. This takes a little practice. All right, we're looking good. Now at this point, if you wanted to put some actual full strength copper remover through there, this is when you would do it. After you've cleaned the barrel and got the crud out from your shooting strip, you can put some copper solvent in there. I usually use a solvent called Sweets. It comes in a black bottle. Um, it does not smell sweet. That's, that's the uh, easiest trick to get the new guy to your shooting group though, is you tell him it's called Sweets because it smells sweet and it's about, it smells like pure ammonia, so it's pretty strong. But it does a really good job in cleaning the copper out of your barrel. It also does a really good job eating everything else in there. So at this point, if I wanted to use some of the Sweets copper remover, I would take a dry patch and I'd roll it on the end of my jag. And I hold it on the jag, the sweets is like a clear jelly. I would squirt a little bit on the patch, dab it with my fingers, take it and push it through the barrel nice and slow and make sure that that sweets gets all the way down that barrel. I'll take the patch off the end, pull it out and I'll clean my rod and my jag right away because that sweets is caustic stuff. You're not going to leave that in your barrel more than five or ten minutes. You actually will damage your barrel if you forget and leave that sweets in there. And while that sweets is soaking, what I'll do then is move on to the rest of the gun. If you depleted your patch supply, all you do is you take some dry patches and add them right in to help soak up that extra solvent you poured in from the brush, and by next time, they'll be soaked up and ready to go for you. Moving on to the bolt. I keep an old t-shirt in my cleaning kit. Works for every part of my gun. Works great on the bolt. I don't do a whole lot to the rest of the gun. I want it to be functionally clean. I don't want it to be grimy, but at the same time, you don't need to go crazy with solvents everywhere. The idea here is with the locking lugs, you want them to be clean and smooth, you want the chamber clean, but you're not going to have a car lot of carbon buildup like you're going to have in a, a semi-automatic handgun or a rifle. A simple wipe down is all I do to my bolt. 
if I need to get into the bolt face, I really like the nylon brushes. They tend to hold dirt really well. So you clean them off on a dry t-shirt first. You'll see a black spot on the shirt and you can just get in there and brush the stuff out. Again, you're not gonna have a buildup of a lot of crud in there or you shouldn't and it brushes right out. If you do have it though, this shooter's choice is good for every part of the metal on your gun. Don't be afraid to take a Q-tip, drop the Q-tip down in there and use that solvent to clean anything out that you need to clean. Also, you can disassemble your bolt to clean on the inside. You don't need to do this all the time though. Matter of fact, I recommend leaving it together unless you're really starting to get the gun very dirty. There's not a whole lot that's gonna get in there and if you start putting too much grease or oil in there, you're actually gonna cause some problems because it's gonna start collecting dirt. They make bolt disassembly tools, which you can use, or you can just use a shoelace to pull this thing apart. I wanna show you real quick, and it's gonna look a little funny, me putting my foot up on the table, but this is how I learned to do it, and this is what works. What you're gonna do is you take this little hook right here on the back of the bolt, and you hook it in the front of your shoelace of your shoe. Okay, this is the official, this is the official method here. When you put it in your shoelace, you can pull on your shoelace, and it pulls that part back that then allows you to unscrew the bolt. You're gonna to have to do it for a couple passes and then it'll unscrew the rest of the way on its own. My hand's getting a little greasy. Oh, make that couple four. All right. Now it's been a long time since I've taken mine apart and yep, there's some crud in there, but it's been a long time since I've taken this apart. This unit just stays self-contained. All I do is I wipe it down, make sure there's no crud on there, clean the threads out, and that's about it. If you really want to clean out the inside of the bolt body, you can do a few things. The small end of that nylon brush that I talked about before, you can put patches on there and push them down in the bolt body to clean them out. But be warned, patches like to get stuck down there and next thing you know you're trying to fish them out. All I do is clean out the threads a little bit with a shirt right at the end and I call it good. There's not a whole lot of buildup you're gonna get in there. When I go to put my bolt back together, I like to use shooter's grease. I don't like oil running all over the place. This stuff stays where you put it. It's a red grease. I just put a little bit on the spring. That's about it. Take it, you screw it back in, and right when you get to this point, you have to use your shoelace again to tighten it all the way back down. You're gonna to get to the point where it stops turning a little past that notch. You then turn it back to that notch, and when it snaps in, you're good to go, your bolt's back together. Now, by the time you've done that, it would be time to get that copper remover back out of your barrel. Go ahead and take a dry patch and push it through, and you'll be surprised, especially if you haven't done it for a while, that patch is gonna be a bright blue turquoise. That means it did its job but just because you put a dry patch through doesn't mean all the residue is out. I'm gonna want you to take some of that bore solvent and really clean some of that residue out so it's fine. And the last thing I like to do, which is what I did, is take a wet patch and push it through the barrel and I leave that wet shooter's choice in there for next time. And then before I shoot, if I like, I can do a quick cleaning again. You'll be amazed what'll come out of your barrel after the storage. Now in the receiver, same thing with the bolt. All it takes is a simple wiping down. If you wanna get crazy with the solvent, you can but it's not gonna be a functional part of the gun that's gonna cause any problems. And you don't wanna get a whole lot of oil and grease in there anyway, because it's just gonna attract dirt. A simple wipe down is good. I clean in right nice where the locking lugs interact to clean that out. It's much easier than the star chamber on an MSR. Good to go. And I actually have a magazine fed system, so I don't have the same drop free magazine that a lot of these Remington 700s have. But if you do, feel free to of course drop that, and wipe the spring down. Besides blowing any excess dust off your firearm, making sure nothing's caught in the groove between the barrel and the stock, making sure your lenses are clean on your scope, you've cleaned your barrel the right way, you've wiped your bolt down so it's serviceable, you've cleaned your chamber out, all it takes is a little more lube. I, again, I like to use this grease because it stays on. You can see on my bolt the high wear parts. It's pretty simple to tell where the shiny parts on the bolt are, and the reason they're shiny is that's what gets the wear. A lot of your functioning or accuracy out of a bolt gun is gonna come with the back of your lugs and their ability to go in and lock up to that consistent headspace. So you don't want the back of these lugs to be wearing down a whole lot because that's gonna give you problems. So I take the grease again, 
small dab on the back of each lug, a little on the outside of the lugs, and then for the rest of the body, I just put a little stripe like that, and I rub it in with my finger. And that's all it needs. If you're worried about rust, of course you can put a light coat of oil, but there's no need for the functioning of the firearm. You'll be surprised how nice this red grease works and how smooth it can make your action. When I put it back in, the bolt head's not all the way in, but when I put it back in, you lock the lugs down a couple times, you'll see that red grease rub off right. So, between the jar to hold your patches, that special jag, and some of the solvents I'm using, I hope you'll learn a couple tricks about how to clean your firearm. It's really this simple, and if you take care of that barrel, you're going to see some great results downrange. So, next time you're out shooting, try this out. If you need a place to shoot, check out our website at wheretoshoot.org. And remember, while you're out there, firearm safety depends on you.